Hey, how's it going? I was just eating some like chocolate fudge swirl brownie uh, ice cream. Oh, it is good. I have a friend who can't have milk. I think about him a lot. I really like ice cream. Like, that was a big treat for me when I was a kid. I remember every Sunday after church, my parents would take us to the ice cream parlor right across from the church. And we would all get, like, ice cream cones or milkshakes or whatever. It was always, like, like I was always so looking forward to it. Because, you know, when you're a little kid, you don't really appreciate the message of God as much as when you're an adult and you got all this energy and, you know, having to sit still for so long. It was nice to, it was nice to have that, like, reward, you know. It felt like, to me, it felt like God was, like, rewarding me for being, you know, obedient in church, you know. And so, like, you know, after the, after the service, we would, like, sit in front of the ice cream shop eating our cones and stuff and, like, watching the people come and go. And I used to see my friend at the church, and he would, you know, he's not obviously not at the ice cream parlor. He's and like, I don't know, like, I don't know if he was jealous of us or like, maybe he was angry, you know, like, I mean, I, he, you know, he would behave too in in church, and but he didn't get a frozen treat. I can only imagine what that kind of bitterness would do to somebody on the inside, you know? Do you think he holds resentment towards God? I mean, God was the one who caused him to be born with that horrible ailment that prevents him from drinking milk. That's sad. <laughs>